welcome to Red 35 and today we're looking at three things together. Yes, three things. All from Big Play. As mentioned, I have three brand new products from BitPlay for review. First of all, is this the latest snap case for the iPhone 10, which I have right here installed on my iPhone. And I'm super excited about this particularly because I have two brand new lenses from them. One of them is the ultra wide, which is actually the updated version of the previous HD wide angle lens, which um, you know I did the review on. You know, you check out the link here, you will see that so you will see that particular video. And this is their very very first tele lens or premium tele lens i would put it you know like uh, because i actually haven't seen anyone done a premium tele lens apart from zeiss you know they are kind of still the only option you were to get one uh, so this is actually very exciting i'm really really super excited to check this one out and of course you know uh, for the ultra wide, you know, like the previous bit play hd was quite good but not quite there and I'm, I'm curious to check out whether this is any good First, let's look at the snap case first. This is the latest snap case for the iPhone 10, and I have previously reviewed some of the older snap cases like the Snap Pro and the Snap 7, and I love them to bits, and seriously, they were really good. And uh, even though they were a little bit bulkier than normal phone cases, which, you know, unlike Moment, which is actually a very slim case, uh, but, you know, they are really good you know i i really love that handling because of the grip and also the you know the bespoke pattern that um uh shutter button which is they also have one here in the latest case um but what's different between you know the latest one and the older one well first of all you can see it's slightly more angular um kind of more streamlined so they make it look a little bit better uh, uh on the iphone 10. um and you know they also make the grip a lot smaller than before you know i don't really know why and uh, you know i really much prefer the older bigger grip uh, but you know they do look nice but i really do you know prefer the older bigger grip because uh, you know just easier to hold when you you know and for kind of extended shooting you know whether both for videos and photos um yeah it, it just really better i think in terms of the you know handling the later one is not bad you know but the grip is really on the small size and uh, i don't have a big hand but you can imagine if you've got bigger hand you know it's going to be not quite there but let's put it <laughs> something but you know you can actually remove this by just peeling it off and that's another thing i don't quite like you know the old one you know you can actually uh, unscrew it you know there's a little little screw on the side you can just unscrew it or even the older one the the snap pro uh, there's also another screw you can just basically unscrew it and just take the grip take the grip off completely uh not as messy because now you have to have the double-sided tape thing which is kind of I don't know it's just a bit odd because the the case does come with two different colors and if you want to swap them you have to kind of rip one off and stick the other one back on um i'm not entirely sure about that application you know and i much prefer the screw in options you know just i don't know just better um but you know if you don't like the grip you just want to use it as a flatter slimmer case you can actually remove it um but other than that you know it's the same old snap case it's drop proof it's got uh, a lot of this uh, protection surrounding it the mechanical button is as smooth and as slick as before i just really love the case so that's that's you know i would say about the case you know, oh oh one more thing is the back you know has two threads so you can screw lenses on both you know the the telly and the wide angle on the iphone you know just just amazing you know you can use uh, all the newer lenses on either lenses
Now I'm trekking into a forest to look at these lenses and uh, let's have a look at them, shall we? Well, which one shall I look at them first? I think, let me talk about the, uh, the ultra wide first, you know. As mentioned, this is the updated version, uh, you know, to the previous HD wide angle lens. Uh, I, you know, kind of enjoy the old one and, uh, but you know, if you see my review, you actually know that I did have a couple of complaints. The first of all is the uh, edge softness and also in terms of um, build, you know, quality and handling is a little bit awkward. The, the first of all is the pedal shape hood was a little bit too shallow, a little bit too flitty to apply. And, uh, you know, it's overall just not quite there, you know, if you're trying to install it and, and, and it, it takes forever. And, uh, you know, I, I didn't quite like the overall handling side of it, although the center sharpness is quite good, but the edges were a bit soft and, uh, but now the latest version is absolutely stunning. You know, they have removed a lot of things. First of all, there's no more um, removable hood. Good or bad, I don't know, it's up to you. And uh, they also removed the, the something that I actually like, the, uh, the actual metal lens cap. You know, I kind of like, you know, you know that I'm a Leica shooter, so I love <laughs> metal caps, but they don't have that now. They now including these, you know, like, I don't know if you can see them, they are, really rubbery kind of thing you know that's stuck on the in front of the lens which is actually a dust magnet i'm telling you i put it in my back for you know for a few seconds all the dust just got sucked onto it um but you know apart from that you know it's a functional thing you just kind of peel it off and then it it, it comes off and uh, but you don't have that metal lens cap anymore uh but I guess it's actually because it's rubber, you know, it does absorb impact quite well. And uh, yeah, it, it overall is actually okay. It's, you can't really lose it because it's, uh, it's actually quite nice. Uh, and also, if you look at the size of it, you know, compared to the older uh, HD wide angle lens, it's a lot flatter. Uh, so it actually means more compact, you know, and, and I would say, you know, compare this to Zeiss and also the Moment version 2, this is the slimmest. And they all do the same thing. They all have roughly about 18 millimeters uh, equivalent focal length. And uh, this is the flattest and the slimmest. And I'll come to the image quality later. Um, the HD tele lens, this is the very, very first attempt from Bitplay. Uh, you can tell they, it follows the same design as the Y, although because it's tele lens, so it does a little bit longer. Uh, he has two times magnification, which is, you know, would make your, uh, basically doubling your focal length. So if your ultra, uh, your wide angle on your iPhone is 28 millimeters equivalent, it will become 56, kind of like a normal standard lens. And if you put it on your tele lens, which makes the 56 into 112, which is something just ridiculous. Uh, actually, it's really interesting, you know, and uh, because you can actually achieve some detailed distance shots, which is actually quite cool. Um, I'm going to talk to you about image quality about on e either these lenses in a minute. And uh, but in terms of overall handling, again, because it's slimmer and more compact, it's actually better than a size because uh, I I love the size, you know, before and and because it's quite heavy and um, I just wasn't quite sure. And also like com like in combination with the latest snap case because it's got a smaller grip, a sl slightly flatter, compact and lighter lens will be better for hand holding for a long period of shooting. Um, yeah, so it actually helps. Uh, it, but in overall, because it's smaller, it's easier in your back as well. You know, you don't have, you know, uh, I, I know they're still quite small, but you know, lighter, always better. Really important thing is what's the image quality on these lenses you know like uh, I can really really say that you know amazing you know uh, for finally you know for less money and you can get the big play lenses that performs as good if not better than the Zeiss you know I have to say that you know you've seen the shot already you know especially on the ultra wide uh, I shot it side by side with the uh, the Zeiss uh, uh, wide angle lens uh, compared with the latest version of the HD wide lens from Bitplay they are almost identical you know I cannot see any differences uh, corner to corner sharpness contrast color rendering they're all very very similar uh, the tele lens you know I actually don't have the Zeiss tele with me but you know from what I remember that 
is actually really awesome, you know, and uh, the Zeiss. And now the big plate is matching the quality as well. So, you know, this is really exciting because big plate, uh, big plate um, uh, lenses are never you know like on the same pricing scale of design so now that means that you can actually get these really really capable premium iPhone lenses for your for your iPhones uh, you know for less money which <laughs> I, I just don't know what to say about it it's just really you know exciting uh, and I love design you know I, I own the size lens and then uh, it's really nice and awesome but you know the, the big play is just oh my goodness you know this is really good and uh, yeah this is now giving a brand new uh, option you know now you can choose you know uh, if you want the brand and then also uh, the, the packaging the outlook of the Zeiss lens you know by all means if you have the deep wallet go for it you know because they are quite expensive uh, but the the big play is just as capable you know as the Zeiss you know like this is the conclusion you know there's there's no really alternative now really they are cheaper and equal if not better than Zeiss so you know I think they're on a winner here you know like moment <laughs> It's your turn to step up the game, but you know, like you guys are great as well. You know, like don't get me wrong. You know, I reviewed your lens. I loved your version too, and uh, but you haven't really got a, a new tele lens just yet. Uh, but you know, your system is great, and uh, yeah, it, it's it's really awesome. You know, I I I'm spoiled with choices now. It's just uh, now, but big play. It, I love the cases. You know, the snap case has always been my favorite among all other cases for filming and photos. Uh, yeah, you know. I've got a whole combo here. I've got a wire and a tele and the case I can shoot all day long on the iPhone. So is there any downside to or negatives for the big play lenses? And the answer is yes. Um, you know, despite the supreme image quality, you know, that is as good, if not better than Zeiss. I think there's one thing about the coating, you know, I think it's still not as flare resistant as the Zeiss T-Star coating and uh, as you, you can see some of the images and I get flare all the time uh, both on videos and stills uh, you know this is something that you know I, I think you know like you're paying the money for if you're really going for the top 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 yet uh, but I guess you know like flare is more uh, like a personal preference you know like I know a lot of people would like to have no flares on, on the images but sometimes for cinematic effects for to create some drama you know in both stills and videos i actually quite like the flare myself you know it just adds something to it adds some texture to photos because uh, a lot of my images uh, usually would involve flare flare you know uh, i actually don't i mean all those flares that you see in my images are usually natural because i like to shoot against the sun uh, i never ever touch it on photoshop so those are all real flares uh, so the, this will actually give me the option to utilize the flare a lot, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, so I, I got less of that on Zeiss, but you know, as you know that 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 you know, uh, if you're really upping upping for the flare resistant coating, you know, Zeiss is the way to go at the moment. Uh, but Big Play is not far behind, even though you know it's quite easy to get the flare out. But uh, there you go. So here is the deal. Would I recommend these lenses and the latest snap case for, you know, you guys? Um, it's a very, very easy answer. Big, big, massive, ginormous, yes, yes. This is a really good lens by Big Play, and finally they have caught up with the size quality. And today's Chinese New Year, and you know, <laughs> I think they should celebrate big time. You know, uh, the I think the Big Play Y and Tele lens are both a very very good uh, quality lenses and they definitely live up to my expectation at least <laughs> uh, you know they, they are really good you know there are a few boxes already checked you know like awesome build quality check fully metal feels solid really cool uh, not so sure about the rubber hood but you know they work it's functional um, awesome awesome image quality you know that checks you know they are on par if not better than size and uh, i really awesome you know and then again i did mention about the coating and the work for the uh, flary situations a bit like this at the moment uh, but yeah i mean that's okay you know i i can live with that totally no problem with that and uh, and the snap case you know they're as good as ever 
The ergonomic wise, you know, I do prefer the much bigger grip, and uh, but they work, uh, and also, you know, that shutter button is still my favorite thing, you know, in all the cases. They're just awesome stuff. Um, so they are really good, and I wholly re recommend it. And also, yes, forgot about that, you know, value for money, definitely check this box, you know. They are selling a lot less than Zeiss, and uh, now with matching quality and built, I, I just, you know, I cannot say anything more positive than that. So, big play, well done, and you should, you guys should celebrate Chinese New Year big time with these things, you know, like this is going to be on a winning road at the moment. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to see more interesting things from you guys. And I uh, can't wait for other people to you know, see whether they can up the game like moments. Uh, Zeiss, they, they kind of haven't actually developed anything more after the lenses. So uh, I don't know what else they're going to do. But stay tuned, you know, as soon as we get something, you know, I'm pretty sure that we'll show you guys. Uh, so that's the thing, you know, if you haven't subscribed our channel already, please click the subscribe button. Stay tuned for more updates in 2018. We have a lot more coming up and uh, there you go. Until next time and see you then. Bye.